Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use Multigo for open source intelligence. During an OSINT investigation, when you wish to collect open source data about a target person or a business on a large scale, you can use a tool like Multigo. This tool can automatically gather data from numerous open data sources and present the results in a graph for easy visualization. You can download the community edition of Multigo from the official website. If you are using Kali operating system, Multigo will be installed for you already. You need to register for a free account on Multigo's website to use the tool. Now, I will demonstrate how you can use Multigo during an OSINT investigation. I am currently using the community edition of Multigo. To begin using Multigo, I will use a feature referred to as Graph. I will create a new graph by clicking on the plus in the top left corner. The center pane is where we will conduct our investigation. On the left pane, you can find the entity palette. You can find different categories here, like Cryptocurrency Devices Events Groups Infrastructure Personal Social network, etc. Let's say I want to investigate a person. I will select person from the entity palette and drag it to the center pane. When you double click on the circle, it will open up a dialog box where you can specify various details about the person you want to investigate. I will set the person as Mark Zuckerberg. To run the OSINT searches, we will use a feature of Multigo referred to as Transforms. When you click on an entity, you can view the available transforms for it on the left pane. For this person, Multigo can run searches for domain names, email addresses, phone numbers, websites, etc. To run a transform, I will click this small button on the right. Some transforms require additional data for their execution. You can provide them as required by your investigation. Once the transform completes its execution, you can see a graph of all the information identified about your target. You can zoom in and out of the graph for better clarity. You can also modify the graph viewing modes from the left pane. Here is another graph. I have run a basic search on Oprah Winfrey. You can observe a variety of results. Email addresses, contact numbers, social media profiles, etc. You can click on a specific result and view more information about it on the right pane. This number is the official contact number on Oprah's website. When I click on a social media result, I can find the link to the target's profile on the right pane. If your target has a commonly used name, then running the standard transform on Multigo may display results about other people having the same name. You can use other information about the target that you know already to pivot your investigation from. Now, I have the phone number belonging to a target. Let's run a Multigo transform using that. I will use the phone number entity and type the target number. Now, I will run all the basic transforms. Up here, you can see the carrier offering this number and the party that owns this number. This is the telecommunication provider based in Qatar. The owner of this number is Hamad International Airport. This is the contact number of the airport in Qatar. 
you can observe other information identified by Multigo about the target using the standard transforms. Here, I have a target document. It is a presentation on DevOps published by Deloitte. I will gather open source data about this document using Multigo. For this, I will copy this link. Use the document entity and paste the URL here on the right pane in the property view window. Now, I will run all the transforms. For documents, Multigo also looks for archived versions. Within the transforms, you can specify the date window for which you want to search for archived data. Once the transform completes its execution, you can see that Multigo has identified that Deloitte has released this document. There are older archived versions of this document. You can follow the links to view them. Multigo has also identified the names of two individuals in the document. We can drag one item away from the rest of the graph and run a specific transform on it. I will search for email addresses belonging to this target on Bing. There is one result. In this way, you can use the results of one transform, pick an item and run new transforms on it to gather results. Now, let's say you have a phrase relevant to your target. I have used the phrase entity here. When I attempt to execute all transforms, Multigo will search across various websites for this phrase, including Pastebin. Once the search process is complete, you can follow along with the various search results to find out what the phrase is all about. Up until this point, we have been using various entities from the entity palette and running the standard transforms on them. Multigo also has an entire catalog of transforms that you can integrate into your searches. You can access these transforms from the transforms menu. For example, when you integrate some SysTransform set for a specific entity that you use, Multigo can search on SynSys on your behalf. Some of these services require API keys to be configured. Once the transform set has been installed along with your Multigo setup, then you can configure the API keys. I have installed transforms for Hunter to verify and find email addresses. I have configured Hunter to use my API key. Here, I have specified a target email address using the email address entity. The transforms for Hunter can be seen here. I will run the verify email address transform. We can see that this address is a valid one. Do you want to try using Multigo? Here is a project idea for you. Once you have Multigo set up, pick a target and run all the standard transforms on them. If any email addresses or phone numbers have been identified, use them as pivot points and run further transforms. Also practice installing additional transform sets and configure API keys for them. Good luck! If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!